If you are 45 or older, chances are you're experiencing some symptoms of perimenopause or menopause. Now, did you know that there are 34 different symptoms associated with menopause? And you could be experiencing some of those symptoms or all of those symptoms at various times in the month. Did you know that exercise can radically alleviate some of those symptoms, regular exercise? But what happens when you don't feel like exercising? When you've been up three or four times in the night with hot sweats, when you feel that you've got brain fog and you can barely put one foot in front of the other, how on earth can you motivate yourself to exercise on a regular basis? And this video is going to give you my top tips in helping you, inspiring you, and arming you with evidence-based research on menopause and exercise, and how you can use it as such an effective tool to radically improve those symptoms. I'm Rachel Holmes, and I'm based in the UK. I'm a fitness presenter and educator with over 34 years of experience. I've created all kinds of group exercise programs. I've taught at different conferences, I've lectured, spoke, at so many different events around the world and, and my motivation is to help women of my age, I'm 49, with the best and the latest information that I can find and research and then I can I can serve that here in my YouTube channel to you. If you subscribe to the YouTube channel you'll see so many different home workouts here that you can pull and use from very low intensity workouts to much higher intensity workouts when you feel that that is appropriate for you. So my exercise tip number one is strength training. And what I mean by strength training is, it could be body weight strength training, it could be kettlebells, it could be weights, it could be resistance bands. I highly recommend those activation bands. They work so well, they're so quick and easy, and you can get a full body workout in 10 minutes or less using those activation bands. And they are going to, they're gonna challenge your, your main muscle group. So you're going to see an increase in muscular strength and muscular endurance. And because this time, this perimenopausal and menopausal phase, estrogen levels are dipping, testosterone levels are dipping, it's important that we keep our muscles strong. It's important that we strength train on a regular basis because that's gonna help with bone density, osteoporosis, heart health, pelvic health, muscular strength, muscular endurance, and mental cognition. The act of, of doing physical activity on a daily basis, just 10 minutes, will have such a radical, radical effect on how you think and how you feel, your emotional health, your physical health, and your mental well-being. So strength training is key. You know, maybe in the past you love to run and do endurance training, or maybe you might not feel like that right now. So set yourself a goal of perhaps just doing 10 minutes a day. And if you subscribe to this channel, you can find lots of strength training workouts that you can do at home. I recommend that you perhaps have your own workout space where you can just go set up your phone. Maybe you've got some weights and a mat and an activation band and you are good to go. You can do 10 minutes every day and that will make such a big difference. Top tip number two is listen to your body on a daily basis. How do you feel? But do something. So whether it's 10 minutes of fitness Pilates, whether it's 10 minutes of yoga, whether it's 10 minutes of Lift Lean, which is a strength training program, whether it's 10 minutes of dancing, whether it's 10 minutes of abdominal work, choose one of the workouts, but do something on a daily basis. And I recommend that you do it first thing because it's out of the way, you've done it. And when you do it first thing, it really helps with your serotonin levels, your dopamine levels, you've done your workout, you feel good about yourself, your self-confidence and self-esteem improves. So if you are struggling with low mood and you're not feeling great about yourself, maybe you feel that you're, you put weight on and you've just lost yourself a little bit, just exercising for 10 minutes a day, giving yourself that push, doing it, using the five second rule, five, four, three, two, one, do it before anybody in the house is up. Um, it's really going to stand you in such good stead. It has such a, a massive and positive impact on your mental health, your mental cognition, and how you think and how you feel. But make that 10 minutes your time. And it doesn't have to be an intense workout, but it's that 10 minutes before anybody else is up. You've not started scrolling through your emails. You've not let the day in you're allowing yourself that 10 minutes to work out. Tip number three is that morning workouts. 
And the reason I suggest doing a more morning workout, getting up a little bit earlier before everybody else in the house is whatever the day then throws at you, however stressed, <laughs> whatever things come at you during the day, you know that you've already got your workout in, you've already done it. And it doesn't have to be longer than 10, 12, 13 minutes. It can be that short, but it's that consistency. If your goal is to get fitter and stronger and healthier, if you do want to lose some weight, if you do want to improve your mental health and you want to alleviate menopausal symptoms, the act of doing 10 minutes a day consistently is the way forward rather than doing one hour blasts or one hour blasts in the gym or you know these big workouts that you maybe do two or three times a week they're great but actually 10 15 minutes a day is all you need so doing it first thing in the morning use the five second rule jump up do your workout and again that's going to have such a positive impact on everything how you think and how you feel your whole physical and mental well-being my fourth top tip is, and we've already alluded to this, you don't need to do more than 10 minutes. You really don't, that's fine. Make that workout count, give it your all, you know, really think about it, focus on the muscles that you're working. Really be present rather than thinking about something else or checking your phone. Set up your phone so you can see the workout and just go for it and do it. And again, that will make such a, a such a big, big, big change in how you think and you feel. And my fifth tip is to move more through the day. So whether you use a step tracker, maybe you, you track your 10,000 steps every day, but just the act of moving, taking the lift, parking a little bit further away from where you want to go, moving, it all adds up through the day all those calories that you burn during the day, you know, if you're sitting at a desk, get up, move, it all adds up and it all helps. It all helps speed up your metabolic rate. It all helps with your mental cognition. It all helps bring down your cortisol levels. So move as much as you can through the day. And there are my five top tips for using exercise as a way of alleviating your menopausal symptoms. So my name is Rachel Holmes. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment if that was helpful. If you have any questions about fitness and health and nutrition during the menopause, please leave it in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and click that little bell. <laughs> Make sure that you subscribe and check out all of the different workouts that I have here on this channel.